Hello, Magic players. Want to talk about three things. First of all, sealed product. Pretty much all of my sealed product, I could probably make about 10, 20 bucks a box on all of it. So uh, good thing I didn't open it because definitely worth keeping sealed. So thank, thank you for everyone that advised me not to open it. That was good advice. Uh, singles, reserve list. Um, this is probably the time to buy. I remember in 2020, once it hit that inflection point and started going back up, it was very, very fast. So I think that's going to happen again. I just been putting my money where my mouth is. I want to uh, have a shout out to Elf Investments and MTG Moxman. Um, like Rudy has said, once it hits that inflection point, it happens very, very quickly. So I went in and I have been making a list of all the cards that were under 20 bucks um, that had some utility in playing the game from MTG Moxman. And I went in and bought those and all of those I got for cheaper than what it said for new mint, for new mint copies. And for one of them, uh, I even got an unlimited card when I ordered a revise. So I, I made about 20 times my money on that one. So that was a good deal. Um, and then finally, this chat GPT thing where I'm writing fan fiction. Um, I'm going to continue doing that. I'm going to be very, very specific what I want. And it's going to function like a, a first draft where I'll go in and totally rewrite the chapter completely. Um, this is coming from what I remember of my old fan fiction. So this is kind of like... Theros Beyond Death meets Scars of Mirrodin or something like that. So it's like, you can think of it as like an alternate reality or something like that. Or you can, if you want to, you can think of this is going on while the other stuff that uh, Hasbro publishes is going on at the same time. Um, to save my life, I couldn't make Tezzeret an evil guy. They kept making them good. But even um, ChatGPT, the AI, recognized the evilness in Elish Norn, so I had no problem making her evil. Uh, that was not a problem at all. But uh, after 12 versions of trying to make Tezzeret an evil guy, um, he always wanted uh, uh, justice and harmony in the multiverse instead of power and greed and... Uh, uh, ill will for everyone like uh, we all know that Tezzeret would really want. So that's pretty much about it. So uh, Seal Products doing good. Uh, buy Reserve List now, that's doing good. And doing my chat, GPT fan fiction first draft and then totally rewriting it because the AI is totally incapable of putting in any dialogue or anything like that. So, and very limited on uh, visualizing anything for the reader. Okay, thanks, Magic Players.